This is the Trimble family's first time at Ikea. At least the Trimble family with Aiden and Ellie. What do you think of this huge building, guys? Is it cool? Yeah. We're gonna eat up there and then get some stuff for our house. Out there, isn't it? What did Ellie get? Mm, I get cheese and chicken fingers. Cool. Ew. I got the meat hall meal, and we also got a dessert sampler. And, and I got chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, yep. I just want to say my favorite thing about the IKEA here is this tray cart. Genius makes life with little kids a lot easier. Hi, Aiden. I care spoon. What did you get to drink? <laughs> hey, Ellie, perk up. I want to tell you something. Did you know, Ellie, that when you were a little baby and me and Mommy were coming up with a name for you, that Mommy wanted to name you after a certain platypus named Perry? There's this guy named Perry the Platypus. <laughs> and she wanted to call you Perry. I love Perry better. Well, looks like I made the wrong decision. This is a Swedish sampler, and I have no idea what these are called. This is chocolate cake. Bacon there? No. Mm. Oh. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's egg frosting. It looks like jelly. You guys like the airs on the floor? There's so much to look at, Aiden. This is good this way. It doesn't have internet. Uh, we have internet now. I can hook it up. Yay. All right, look. There is the Star Wars show that you built, Aiden. Since we don't have all of our stuff unpacked yet, I got you and Ellie a toy. They're a family of mice. I got one. Yay. Cool. Look, what? Yeah. We are making a second trip to Ikea and know that it is only five miles from our house, but it takes 20 minutes to get there during rush hour traffic, which it is right now. So what do the kids do? They go to sleep. Ellie's entire bed frame is that. Nice job, Ikea designers. So look at how pretty this Walmart is. It's not your typical rectangle that we're used to. Very cool. We're having arguments over if the TV should be on that wall or that wall. So I think that a sectional couch over there pointing to here would be awesome. But I think if the sectional couch were over here, we had to look way over there towards the TV, it'd be too tiny. I'm willing to do it if you're wanting to get a huge TV. Not yet. Here you go. Not yet. Videotape me. On the couch. Ah. So we have this amazing playground here at the Meadowcrest Early Learning Center. In our house, I don't think you can see it very well, but it is just back there a couple streets away. This place is cool. What do you think of this place? Does it look fun? Yes. That looks fun Here's a layout of the playground. We are here. We got all this stuff to play with. 
A bear? Can you see? There's a bear over there. Liliana! Let's go! You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Is it cold? Yes. So they had a seed swap here that we missed. And they were selling popcorn, kettle corn and caramel corn. And real nice lady just gave us this whole bag. Oh, she ate some first, but that's okay. What's that? I like to stay here. I'm gonna be like that. You guys having fun in that big box with Ziggy? You guys just set up camp in there. What? So you guys just set up camp in there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You're not feeding Ziggy M&Ms, are you? Well, the kids are experiencing all the culture shock with this church that's a lot more busy and big than the church we came from. They're pretty shy. Isn't it nice that that lady gave you that toy? Mm -hmm. Maybe the people here are nice, huh? Step into relationship with our Heavenly Father. I love the view of the mountains from here at Highlands Community Church. Well, an amazing home theater system came with our house, but it needs some parts, so I hear that this Fry's Electronics is a neat place to be. We'll check it out. This electronics store is incredible. I've never been in an electronics store this big. I think it's so big that they even have a cafe in it and an electronics store. Yep. Wow. I've got no idea where to start. Now this is a first, a place to put your laptop and exercise. So the Jimi Hendrix Memorial is here in my hometown, Renton. I thought since the kids and wife are asleep, I would check it out because they're probably not as interested. Beautiful. Looks like people have left guitar picks on the guitar. <laughs> Looks like it's a site for the entire Hendrix family. Some yet to be filled.
although I mostly play Christian music, I can't be denied that Jimmy's influence on music in general, and specifically guitar, has influenced a lot of Christian artists, and even myself. Guitar music wouldn't be what it is today without Jimmy. Neat that his memorial is here in my hometown. Well, we've now experienced a Tuesday through Sunday, essentially a full week, almost, here in Renton, and I've gotta say, I think we like it. I had a really interesting first few days where we got to meet a lot of people. I got to even share the gospel with some people, which was awesome. Uh, we've made a couple friends already. Um, people here seem to be very uh, nice, very open. I've already had some great, deep conversations with new friends um, very quickly. Um, the nature here is beautiful. Renton, although it's a city of 100,000 plus, is very beautiful. Uh, the nature just winds in and out of Renton. A great view of uh, Mount Rainier and a great view of other mountains as well. Um, the weather here is very nice so far. It is, I believe, 53 right now. Uh, which is not bad for March, and haven't really seen a lot of rain. I think it rained twice since we've been here that I could see. I think it rained other times uh, when we were just not out and about, but uh, it's very beautiful here. The people are very nice here. Uh, I'm loving my job so far. My coworkers are very good. Uh, I see a lot of great work to be done at KW Renton. Uh, happy to be a part of all that. Went to a great church this morning. I don't know if it's where we'll land, but uh, it's definitely a, a great place. And I'm definitely interested in starting something new either way. Uh, and so I do believe there's a lot of good work to be done here in that realm. So yeah, um, drawbacks so far. The only thing I can think of is the recycling thing is very interesting. It's hard to get used to. You know, at home, or rather at our old home, we had uh, a five you know, giant bag limit twice a week. Here, we have one can that, picks up, that gets picked up once every two weeks. And then how that's offset is, is you've got to do organics and recyclables in a separate can. So you got three cans sitting there. The organics and recyclables are picked up every week, but the actual trash is only picked up every two weeks. So you can see uh, how they're trying to gear us towards recycling and composting. So <laughs> being an Ohioan uh, for so long, I'm not used to that. Uh, but it's probably the right thing to do, but man, it's, it's just annoying. <laughs> so we'll get used to that. But the landlord is great. Uh, she is a very nice person. Uh, in fact, she's a, a very, very good person. And uh, we think it's gonna work well the way things are looking. Uh, the dogs like it, the kids like it. Uh, change is hard for Jenna, but she does like it here. So I think it's gonna be good. But anyway, we miss everybody in Ohio and Kentucky and, and all the Midwest where most of our friends and family are. Uh, we miss you, we love you, but so far uh, this new adventure is working well. It's just week one, so we'll continue making it great. And uh, we'll catch you guys later.